Welcome to the Dave Show. My name is Dave, and today I'm here to talk about this RC racing boat. It's a remote control boat. Yes, it does float, <laughs> and you can control it with a remote control. Really, really cool stuff. Now, the company did send me this product for a review, but they want me to show you what it is and how it works. So let's take a closer look at this remote control boat. Okay, I wanted to show you this first because this is the on the box and a lot of information. So the scale is 136. Uh, you have full functions, uh, forward, back, left, right, etc. It's a 2.4 gigahertz system. You have a little LED screen or LCD screen on it, a uh, high speed engine uh, reversion. That means you can, when the, if the boat flips upside down, you can get it to come back uh, up, upright. There's a, a way to do that with the system. And left and right control mode switch you can control the, uh, you can you can set the controllers to do different things if you want to on there and it's uh, ages 14 plus so I just wanted to show you some of those features real quick now let's take a look at all the goodies okay here's what you're gonna get in the package um, you do get also an instruction booklet which goes over a lot of the information and the details on how to drive it I'm not gonna go over how to use this part of it the, how to drive it and all that stuff it's in here um, I'll give you some of the ideas and features and so forth also how to lubricate the engine Engines, the motors in here um, and then a bunch of uh, operational guidelines and that kind of stuff so definitely uh, need to keep this book and uh, read it over now you're gonna get a bunch of different things here as I said uh, you do get batteries they do provide batteries this is for the remote control you're gonna get some tools a little screwdriver and a little wrench and um, you're also gonna get two extra propellers here and a nut you, you should get two nuts I have one I might have lost one already uh, they're super super tiny so be careful opening up the package uh, there's one already on the boat itself as well so you're gonna get some propellers and nuts and then uh, this is a little um, a nose cone protector. Uh, it goes right on the front of this like that. Oh, actually upside down. I think it goes in there like that. Um, so that goes on there. You're gonna get um, two batteries for the boat. This is what goes in the boat. I'm gonna show you the details of that and how to install it here in just a second. And a charger for that. You do need uh, your little power brick or something to plug this into. And then the um, this part just plugs right into here. Oh, wait, maybe it's this one. This part here. The little white one goes in with the white one and just clips in there. It only goes in one way, and that's what charges it up. The other one is the part that connects in here, which, again, I will show you in a minute. You do get a little bit of lube. There's a little bit of um, uh, machine oil lubricant in here that you need to uh, use every once in a while as you're running it because it keeps the motors all nice and good and running properly. And then you're going to get a remote control, and we're going to look at this more deeply as well. Now, on the remote control, um, it looks like there's a lot more buttons and stuff than there is really. This little tag is on here. It says tips for pairing. The boat must be in water to uh, pair it um, because that, your your boat is operated only when in water. Uh, there's a little sensor in there. I'll show you that as well. So on the top, you have um, some steering trims. This is steering right and steering left. And what these do is if you're driving the boat just forward and it seems to be going to the left, then you want to you wanna trim it back to the right. If it's going to the right, you want to trim it back to the left. Uh, same with the throttle. There's a throttle trimming here. Uh, available and then you have your sticks that go all the different directions now as it's set up as soon as you turn it on your throttle is this so you can go up forward and backwards and then this one is your turning so you can turn left right forward backwards that kind of thing too so um, this operates the uh, the propeller this operates the steering um, you do have this little button here that does your uh, helps with the steering as well. And then there's a, a demo mode. If you press and hold it over to the side, this does a demo where the boat will just kind of work itself and do like figure eights and that kind of thing there. And then there is this screen here. Um, I'm gonna need to put the batteries in to turn this on, so let's do that. And here's the reason for the screwdriver is you need to open the battery cover. Up here at the front is the on-off button, so you can see I just turned it on and it, it's, it's blinking because it's not pairing, it's not paired yet. Um, and there's there's a, a bunch of different stuff on here. You've got different uh, indicators on your channel, the percentages, battery indicator, uh, your mode. There's mode one and mode two. Mode one is your throttle here and your 
movement here but if you change it to mode 2 you can do your throttle and your movement depending on if you're used to doing it a certain way you can do that um, a lot of stuff going on here again the manual will give you more of the details on that now let's go ahead and take a look at the boat Okay, the other thing that comes with this too is this little stand, which comes in really handy. You just uh, snap it together, and now you can put your boat on there so it's uh, up above and you're not, you know, having this stuff here on the bottom. Um, really, really cool. The, um, the, the front part of it here, the top part comes off. There's a little latch here, and this just pops off like that. And then there's an internal cover as well, which is water sealed. So now you have to unlock these they just go in the different directions you can see which way they go to unlock and then now this piece will come up and pull out it's kind of, there you go uh, and this has got a seal it's got water sealing in there a uh, little bit of information here some battery uh, tips as well you want to make sure you read that now this is the uh, the motor in here, and um, you, you got your 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 steering bit here. It says do not touch. But I'm touching it um, very slightly. You can see that it turns the motor that way, and then you have your 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 other prop your prop spinning down here. Um, little motor. This also has a water. This is a water cooled engine, which is really cool. So there's a little water tube that goes in there, and then this is a place for your battery pack. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. snaps in there that snaps in there you can tuck that in there so now with the oiling and stuff like that uh, the instructions tell you how to take this apart to to do it uh, there is a, a little tube out here for the water so the water comes in and then goes out and then um, there's a sensor this little sensor down here is um, the water sensor so this will determine uh, if it's in water or not. Once the battery's installed, we can go ahead and put this cover back on. Um, again, it's a nice, good, tight fit. And lock that into place, and now you're ready to go. So everything is good and set. Uh, again, you have to have it in water to pair it up. So uh, I'm gonna see if I can get a some kind of a water uh, situation to put this in, and we'll try it. Okay, unfortunately, I don't have a pool or a lake nearby. Uh, I am in the desert, um, and I should have a pool, but I don't have a pool. Um, but I have a, a big bucket of water that this will fit into. Um, now, you're going to see it's, it's off until you put it in the water with that sensor. So as soon as I put it in here, it, I don't know if you saw that or heard it, but it, it twitched. That twitch to show that it is on. Now this is not ideal way to do it and test it, but I wanted to just show you. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and push this up, so it's going to pair. Okay, and it paired right away as soon as I put it in there and turn this on. Uh, and then the mode screen shows everything on there. Now um, this is the throttle button. You can see I'm just barely touching it, and it's going. It's gonna make it spill forward and backward. Uh, this is your turning left and right you can see that thing moving there like that um, and 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 you just can go and take off oh again I wish I had a, a larger body of water to show you um, but these things are, are screaming fast and they do really cool things and remember you can also if this tips upside down you can um, get it going to right side up by doing following the instructions in there I'm going to show you the trim buttons here. Now, if you watch the propeller over here, and this will turn um, uh, blue. If I hit this button, you see it turns blue, and that's actually going to move this a little bit. And I can take this and move it back. Um, that's going to trim that. So there you have it. A detailed look at this remote-controlled boat, speedboat. These things are really super fun, uh, easy to use, easy to play with. Get a couple of them, and you can race your friends. So if you are looking for a remote-controlled speedboat, this one may be the right one for you.